In this video, we'll be looking at the Wise Owl Outfitters Camping Towel, which is one of the 10 best camping towels that I review on this channel. I'll be unboxing and testing the Wise Owl Towel against dirt, sand, and seawater. I will also give you a breakdown of its key features, such as absorbency, quick drying abilities, material, and more. Let's get right into it. Here's the Wise Owl Towel from Amazon. This is a large, which I paid 14 US dollars for. And with that, let's get into the unboxing. So, what's in the box? Well, it depends on which pricing option you pick. The one I chose for 14 US dollars comes with a product tag, a thank you note, and of course, the storage pouch, the large size towel, and a smaller face towel. Here are the Wise Owl Towel's official specs. These are not that accurate, so I'll just give you my personal measurements right now. Length, 46 inches or 117 cm width 23.5 inches or 60 cm, weight of towel 149 grams or 5.3 ounces, weight of storage pouch 14 grams or 0.5 ounces, packed size 7 by 5 by 1.5 inches or 18 by 13 by 4 cm. The Wise Owl towel is made of 80% polyester and 20% polyamide which is nylon and is made in China. The Wise Owl towel has a hanging loop, so you can hang your towel on a hook at home, on a clothesline in the outdoors, or even on your pack when you're hiking. You can also just hang it on a tree to dry without the loop. It also turned out fine when I put it in the washing machine for cleaning. As for the storage pouch, there's a little bit of ventilation in the front, and the rest of the pouch is made of a lightweight material. The pouch also comes with a hanging loop, so you can use a carabiner to hang it outside your pack. The Wise Owl towel is also marketed to be sand repellent, fast drying, and extra absorbent. Is it though? Let's test it to find out. To test absorbency, I measured the amount of water in this bucket, soaked the Wise Owl towel, and measured whatever water was left. So essentially, the Wise Owl absorbed 450 ml of water. As it weighs 149 grams, total absorbency is 450 divided by 149, which is about 3 times. I also performed the same test on a similar size cotton bath towel, which absorbed 1,100 ml of water and has a slightly higher absorbency of 3.26 times. As the cotton towel is quite a bit fluffier, it beats the Wise Owl towel in terms of absorbency. After soaking the Wise Owl towel, I wringed out as much water as possible. Here's the Wise Owl before wringing and after wringing. So, after wringing, the Wise Owl towel weighs 311 grams or 11 ounces. This means that 36% water was left. As for the cotton towel, it weighed 842 grams or 29.7 ounces after wringing and 46% of water was left. Here's the comparison between the Wise Owl and the cotton towel. If you enjoyed what you've seen so far, please hit that like button as it will really help me to produce more content like this for you. Thank you. After ringing, I left both the Wise Owl towel and the cotton towel to dry outdoors. The Wise Owl started off at 311 grams or 11 ounces and dried completely in about 45 minutes. On the other hand, the cotton towel took 2 hours and 15 minutes to dry. When left indoors to dry after ringing, the Wise Owl towel took a total of 6.5 hours to dry completely. In contrast, the cotton towel took much longer, drying only after 27 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this drying test. The Wise Owl is much less fluffy, so it dried more quickly. For this next drying test, I measured 100ml, 
or 3.4 fluid ounces of water for the wise owl towel and also for the cotton towel and left both of them to dry outdoors. This is to make sure that both towels absorbed the same amount of water. The wise owl towel started off at 249 grams or 8.8 .8 ounces and dried completely in about 29 minutes. As for the cotton towel, it took slightly longer, drying in about 40 minutes. I also conducted the same test indoors. When left indoors, the wise owl towel took 4 hours to dry completely. On the other hand, the cotton towel took much longer, drying in about 7 hours. Here's a summary of the outdoor and indoor timings for this 100ml drying test, which shows that the wise owl towel dries much more quickly than the cotton towel. I soaked both the wise owl and the cotton towel in seawater wringed out whatever I could, then sealed both in separate plastic bags. At a two-day mark, the wise owl towel had a somewhat strong, sour smell, which was not pleasant, but still bearable. In contrast, the cotton towel smelled even more sour and more unpleasant. At the four-day mark, the wise owl towel somehow smelled less sour and a little more pleasant, while the cotton towel started smelling like food that had gone bad. I also checked for mold on the wise owl, and there wasn't any. For this grass and dirt test, I dragged both the wise owl towel and the con towel along a stretch of grass and stepped on them. The wise owl picked up a few small specks of dirt, which I shook off really easily. The con towel picked up more dirt, which I thought came off easily, but after getting home, I noticed some dirt was still stuck to it. For this test, the wise owl towel beats the cotton towel. For the sand test, I covered both the wise owl towel and the con towel with sand. Some sand did stick to the wise owl, though a few good shakes got rid of it. Sand also stuck to the con towel, but shaking it did the job as well. Both towels did well in the sand test. The cotton towel might have performed better than you expected because it's not fluffy and has short piles. The wise owl towel weighs 149 grams or 5.3 ounces, whereas a similar size cotton towel weighs 337 grams or 11.9 ounces. It is also significantly more compact. Here's what it looks like beside the cotton towel from the side and also from the top. For further comparison, here's what the wise owl towel looks like beside a 16 ounce and a 32 ounce Nalgene bottle from the side and from the top. Both the Wise Owl and its storage pouch come with hanging loops for easy carry and drying. Unfortunately, if you're not tall like me, the Wise Owl will drag on the ground if you hang it on your pack. To fold the Wise Owl, half it three times until it becomes a square, then third it, then half it again, then put it back into the storage pouch. Or you can just stuff it back in without folding. The Wise Owl towel is soft and smooth to the touch with a suede finish and isn't stiff. However, the large size is a little smaller than a regular bath towel and it also sticks to your skin so you have to pat down instead of wiping. It is one of my stickier camping towels. As for quality, the different coloured stitching is consistent with no gaps and the material is intact with no loose threads or fraying. After about 4 months of light usage, the weight of the Wise Owl towel was still the same, so no material was lost. The stitching throughout the towel after 4 months is still holding up. However, the colour tends to bleed quite a bit, especially on the first wash. The hanging loop is high quality and secure, and the storage pouch is strong, lightweight, with relatively smooth zippers. To sum up, the Wise Owl towel isn't that comfortable, but the quality is pretty good. I read the reviews on Amazon and here's what I found. Positive reviews said that the Wise Owl towel is absorbent, dries quickly, is lightweight and compact, and the customer service is excellent. For my testing, I found that the absorbency and quick drying abilities of the Wise Owl towel are only average when compared to other camping towels that I bought. As for portability, it is one of the lighter towels that I have. As for customer service, I can't really comment. I've never had any interactions with them because my towels had no issues. On the other hand, negative reviews said that there's a chemical smell out of the box, the stitching on the edges tend to unravel, the hanging loop tends to spoil, the wise owl towel sticks to skin, and the logo on the towel is too big. 
From my experience, my Wise Owl towel did not have a chemical smell. The stitching on all four corners are still intact after four months, and my hanging loop is still functional. However, the Wise Owl towel is one of my stickier towels, and the logo on the towel annoys me a little bit because it feels slimy when wet. So, what are my personal pros and cons for the Wise Owl towel? Pros, the Wise Owl towel is compact and lightweight and is one of the lightest camping towels I have. The quality is good and the towel has been holding up over 4 months of usage. It's also resistant to grass, dirt and sand and most importantly, it's inexpensive. Cons, the Wise Owl towel tends to pick up odors and did not perform well in my odor resistant test. It's also one of my stickier towels and I didn't like the feeling of the logo when I was drying off. As for absorbency, wringing and drying time, the Wise Owl was average compared to other camping towels that I bought, so neither a pro nor a con for these. Would I recommend the Wise Owl towel? Well, I think it's a solid choice for a camping towel because it beats a regular cotton towel in almost all aspects like wringing, drying, odor resistance, dirt repellents, and portability. However, it isn't as comfortable and it isn't as absorbent. Compared to other camping towels on the market, the Wise Owl towel is about average in terms of performance. But I think the main selling point of the Wise Owl towel is that it's inexpensive. For 14 US dollars, I got the large size towel, a free washcloth, and a storage pouch. In contrast, most of the other camping towels that I bought cost at least 20 US dollars up to almost 40 US dollars. Even though the Wise Owl towel doesn't have an expensive price tag, I found that it has better quality than some of the more expensive towels I bought and is definitely good value for money. So if you're looking for a camping towel on a budget, I think the Wise Owl towel is a great pick. However, is this the best choice for you? Or are there other camping towels out there that might be more suitable for you? If you would like to check out other towels, here's a video where I bought 10 of the best camping towels on the market, tested them rigorously and gave all my recommendations. If you enjoyed this review, I'm sure you would love that video too. If you prefer reading over watching, please visit my website at campingguidance.com where you can find all this info as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.